cost of basic operations under different number basis. We start with addition. You know, the, the first thing is to have the knowledge of how these number bases are arrived. The numbers or the figures. Look at this. Let's say we are talking about figures in phase 3. The base 10 is this. And the base 3 will be 1, 2, 10. For this one, I'm going to have 11, 12, 10. Can you see? So if you have this in mind, you should know that you cannot have any figure above 3 under base 3. And by the time you get to 3, it means you have gotten to 10 in this, in this space. That is, you have gotten to the power of 10 in this space. Then you have gotten to the multiple of 3. So, when you make this analogy, unfortunately, or speed it within your mind, you get all the procedures or processes easily. Now, let's look at certain examples. Now, let's add this number. I have 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Under base 3. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Please, the base will always be written. The base will always be written as thought script. Now, I have 1 plus 1, that is 2. And this is base 2. It means that I have gotten to 10. It means I have gotten to 10. So that will give me 0 here. I have 1. You know, just like our addition, where you have something like a 5 plus 5 in base 10, that is going to give you what? 10. So you have 0. So you have 1. You understand? So this is just analogy. So if I have, again, 5, 5 here, this is 11. So what do I write? I write 1. I get 1 here again. So that is how the process continues. So look at this one now. I have taken 1 from this place. I have 1 plus 1 plus 1. So I have 3. This is 1, 1, other base 2. That is 11 other base 2. So I'm going to write 1 here. I bring 1 here again. What happens? This one becomes 2. That is 10. I have 0 here. I bring 1 here again. Adding it to this, I have 0 here. So that is 2. So coming here, I have 1 plus 1 plus 1. That is 3, which is 11 under base 2. So I put 1 here. Again, I bring the 1 to this place. 1 plus 1, 2. And that is 10 under base 2. So I have 0, 1, base 2. You can see the answer. Now, to confirm this, let's convert, let's convert to base 10. And then, just to, confirm, just to confirm our answer, this is the answer. You don't need to do that. So let's convert this one to base 10. So what do I have here? I have... So this is giving me 32 from, from 0, from 0, from 2, from 1. So this is 48, 50, 1. Here yeah, 2, let's go back. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that is 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. So this is 38, 30, 31. So if I add this to, what does it give me? 51 plus 31. What does that give? It gives me 82. Now, let's convert this 82 to base 2. Now, the sum of this in um, base when you converted it to base 10, you have got 82. Now let's convert this one to base 10, base 2. So this is 41, 0, 20, 1, 10, 0, 5, 0, 2, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. So let me write this. I'm going to have 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. So you can see. So that is how you do the addition. The important thing is to have the base in mind. Addition under all bases is the easiest operation. Addition under all bases is the easiest operation. Let's see if we can do one more. Look at this. We have to add 1101 base 2 plus 1111 base 2 plus 111 base 2. If you have to do this, I'd rather you take it like 2 and then you add the next one. You can add everything straight if you are already grounded in your know, number base system. So if I have to add this one as a starter, I will take this one and this one, add first, then I add this one. So I can have 1, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Let's add this. This one is going to give us 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. You understand that I got this one? 1 plus 1, 2. That gives me 10. So 1, one here, 1 plus 1, 10. And 2 gives me 10 again. Coming here, 1 plus 1 plus 1. That is 2 plus 1. That is 11. Give me 1 here. I'm bringing it here. 1 plus 1 plus 0, 2. Give me 10. 
the answer. So if you want to confirm, convert this one to base 10, convert this one to base 10, convert to base 10. Add everything, convert this one to base 10 too. Compare the results and you come, you will see. Now let's work this. I have 4 by 1 basis plus 300 and 5 basis. So that it will be like I have a, if I add towards this thing, 1 plus 5, that is 6. And under this case, that is 10. So I'm going to have 0. Bring 1 here. 1 plus 5 plus 0, 6. Again, that is 10. So I have to write 0 here because it is in basis. And I bring 1 here. 1 plus 4, 5 plus 3, 8. And that is 6 plus 2, which is 10 plus 2. That is 12 under this circumstance. So we are going to have it like 2 here and 1 here. So that is our answer. So in this place, you know, I have like this 1 plus 4 plus 3. That is 8. That is bigger than 6. So if you want to write it down, that is going to be 6. Because 6 is the highest power of 6 that you can remove from this thing. That is 6 plus 2. You understand? And which will give us 10 plus 2. And that is 12. That is what I did in this case. So that is why I had two here and then plus one four here. That is. So as we have done this, probably I might do another on this operation. But with this, I believe we have already got to addition. Now let's go to subtraction. Now, under subtraction, we know that when you subtract one number from the other, the number gets lesser. And when we are doing this kind of operation in this thing, let's say we, I, I want to deduct. This is 142 and I have a 8. This is base 10, please. If I want to do it under base 10, you know, 8 in 2, I will be able to do that. I will take 1 from this thing. And from when I bring 1 from this thing, this one becomes 10. You understand? This one becomes 10. So once it becomes 10, it, it turns this one to 12. Because it is base 10, it turns this to 12. So 8 from 12, that gives me 4. Give me 3 here. 6 in 3, still not, you, you understand? So I have to take this one to this place. See, 1 here is 10. 10 plus 3. That is 13. 6 plus 13, that is 24. That is base 10. So you are going to meet this similar thing under other base. But when this number, when you take one from this place to this place, what happens is that this number, when you bring from here to this place, will give you the base. I think this one is base. Base uh, 9. If you take one from this place to this place, you know what it's going to be? This will it means that you are taking 9 from here. 9 plus that is 11. 8 from 11, that will be 3. So this is the standard example for us. Now, 6 from 3, still difficult. Then we take 1 from here to this place. You know, the 1 we are taking from here is 9. So when we add it to 3, that is 12. 6 from 12, that is 6. You can see the difference now. So this is one example. Let's look at another example. Now look at this. 4, 5, 1, 6, minus 3, 0, 5, base 6. Just like I just, the one I just worked on now. 5 from 1 will be difficult. So 1 from here is 6. So 1, 6 plus 1 here, because the one I bring in here, under base 6, that is 10 under base 6. And 10 under base 6 is 6. So from here now, so 6 plus 1, 7. 5 plus 7, 2. It remains 4. 4, 0 from 4, I have 4. So lock it, this one is simple. So I have 1 plus 2. Let's look at something. I think this is base 7 or base 8. Let's make it base 7. What is it going to give us? Are you going to ask the same answer? Let's see. Five from 1. So I'm going to take 1 from here. That is 10. But the 10 here is 7. 7 plus 1, 8. 5 from 8, that is 3. 4. So, 0 from 4, 4. 3 from 4, 6. 1. So you can see the answer varies because we are working under different bases. That is what I just need to show you. Now let's go to multiplication. Now let's add multiplication under different bases. Just like we used to have it under base 10. You write when it's bigger than 10, you subtract the uh, 10 out of the number and then you write down the remainder. Look at this one. If I have 5 times 4, because that is 20. Under base 10. So I write 0. I bring 2 here. That is 3. Now, assuming I have something like uh, 17 times 4. Under base 10. 7 times uh, 4. That's 28. So I will write 8. The 2 in front, I will bring forward. So 8 here. 4 times 1. 
Four plus two is eight. That is how you get under base ten. Look at this one now. Under base ten, if I have fifty-six times four, what is that going to give me? Four times six, twenty-four. I have four here. Give me remaining two. I mean, four times five, twenty. I have twenty-four. That is ten. Let's also have like this. Three times four. Three times four, twelve. I have. I write two here. I bring the one forward here. That's it. Twelve. Now let us now change it. Base it here to base seven. So before we go on, if it is not compulsory for you to do your multiplication like this, you can first of all convert all of them to base ten. After you have gotten your answer in base ten, you convert back to the base you are required to work with to give the answer in. Like this one now, five six base seven. Multiply by 4, base 7. I convert this 5, 6 to base 10. 4 to base 10. Multiply the two of them. After getting my answer, I will now convert that answer back to base 7. It's no longer this, depending on you. The same thing here. But you have gotten. That one is different from when you have it under base 10. Now let's see what the multiplication will be under base uh, 7. 5, 6 times 4. That's 24. 7, 24 under 7. So that's going to give me 3. Give me that 3. So I write the 3 here. I bring the 3 forward. 4 times 5, 20. Plus 3, 23. 7 in 23. It's going to be 3. Give me that 2. So what do I have? I must have 2 here. The 3, I bring it forward. So that is what I have here. 3, 2, 3. The 7. For this one now, 4 times 3, 12. But it is in base 7, I won't write 2. I have to add it like this, 12. And that's going to be 1. You mean that 5. So I have 5 here, I have 1 here. 7. You can see. Now, assuming I have a situation like this, 5, 6, base 7, plus 3, base 7, multiplied by 4. You know, I can do it like this. 5, 6, base 7 times 4. Plus 3, the 7 times 4, like this. And that's going to be 3, 2, 3, plus 1, 5. And I can easily get my answer by doing it 3. For ease of comprehension, let's do it like this. So 5 plus 3, 8. That's bigger than 7. 7 is a 10. So I have to write 8 divided by 7, 1, to make that 1. I put the remainder here. I bring the 1, the original answer, I bring it forward. 1 plus 3. Then 1 plus 2, 3, plus 1, 4. So 3. So this is 3, 4, 1. That's it. Now, I can also do it like this. 5, 6, plus 3, bracket. Once I get the answer, I will now multiply by 7. Let's see how that one goes. 5, 6, base 7, plus 3, base 7. 6 plus 3, 9. 9 is bigger than 7. So 9 is 1 remainder. So I write the remainder here, 2. I bring the 1. 1 to this place is 6. So I have 6. Base 7. So this one, so 5, 6, base 7, plus 3, base 7, times 4. We will be equal to 6, 2, base 7, times 4, base 7. Now let's carry out our operation here. So I have 6, 2. Times 4. So I just I want you to add the full comprehension of this. 4 times 2, 8. I have 1 remainder 1. So I bring this one here. 4 times 6, 24. Plus 1, 25. So I have 25 here. So I, that will give me 3 remainder. So I bring this 4, I write it here. Since there is nothing to do again. The 3 will come here and I'm going to have 3, 4, 1, base 7. So, like this one. So, you can see. Just put uh, anything you are doing, put the base in mind. Once it is bigger than the base, you convert to um, the next, maybe the tenth of it or hundred of it. And from there, you get your answer. Now, let's, now let's talk about division under your number basis. Just like in um, base 10, the division is. Just consider the, the number base. That's the thing. But I advise you always use this long division to work it out. Because there will be 
remainder and their remainder. And it's something you have not been used to. So this one makes it very easy to handle. Let's assume I want to do something like this. Two, two, two. Raise four. Divide by 13. Raise four. So I will bring, bring this one here. And I bring this one here. 13 is 22. That will be 1. 1 times 13. I have 1. Subtract this bit. Subtract this one from here. The rest is base 4. 3 from 2. You know that will be insufficient. So I take 1 from here. That will be 4 for getting here. 4 plus 2. 6. 3 from 6. That's 3. So, as you can see, this one must be lower than this one. 3, 2, here. This 3, 2 is in base 4. And this 13 is in base 4. And by the time you look at it, 1, 3. From here. Let's check it. 1, 3 times 1. 1, 6 times 2. Base 4. So give me 2 here, 6. And I remove, remove 2. 2 here. The 2 times 1 here. That's 3. 2 times 1, 2. Plus 1, 3. You understand? 2 times 3, 6. So this 2 is what I wrote here. So I don't confuse it. I bring this one here. 2 times 1, 2. Plus 1, 3. So. What do I have? 2. I put the 2 here. This 2 times 13, other base 4, is going to be base 2. And then, that's it. Another way you can do it, convert this 3, this 13 to base 10. Convert to base 10. This one too, convert to base 10. Then, do this operation. After you carry out the operation, you convert back to base 4, or any base that is required. And that is the easiest and was a uh, advisable way of doing it, unless you are compelled to do it like this. So let's see what the answer will be here. 2, 2, 2 to base 10. Let's go to zero. So this is 32. Or 8. So this is 32. 13. Base 4. I'm going to do division. 42 divided by 7. That is 6. I will now convert this 6 to base 4. 6 then to base 4. I'm going to write like this. 6. Uh, so I have 1 here. You may notice. 4 here is 0. It's 1. So the answer is 1, 2. So you can see, it is, this is the easiest way of doing it. Convert 4 to base 10, get your answer, and convert back to base for any other base. With this, I'm concluding this lecture. I advise you, in case you have any thing that is still complex, go and watch it from the beginning. Everything is simplified in this video. Watch everything. Um, for, I mean, share with anybody that you feel will need this. Anybody studying mathematics. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment, please. Let us know whatever we need to improve. And whatever we are doing that we should stop doing, it, um, it's welcome. Follow in our other channels everything you think you should do to encourage, to motivate, so that we always bring this to your view. Do. And once you subscribe, once you drop any video, you'll be among the first to get it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. See you in the next video.